All right, we're doing the Pelican Brewing Company. Uh, they're off the Oregon coast in Tillamook, I believe. This is the Raspberry at Sea, Volume 2. This is an ale with raspberries. It's 6% uh, alcohol by volume. 25 IBUs, it says. I'd like to know the story. <clears throat> like, what's Volume 1, Volume What does it mean? Yeah, I don't know. Is there a story, or do they just name yeah. it that, and this is the second version, like the second year or something? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. This is the one I told you that kind of tastes like a lamb beak. Oh, I can't yeah. wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, not as, like, dark pinkish as I yeah. would have thought. Kind of a little just light, hazy pink. Mm -hmm. Interesting, though, a tint to the head. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. C kind of lamb beakish, just uh, lighter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, it smells nice and clean and yeasty. I don't, you know what? You don't get a ton of the raspberry up front though. No. <sighs> you just get good, mm. clean, great beer. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. <laughs> good. Am I right? It's not as strong as a lamb beak no, flavor, but, no, it's, but it's, it's a hint of... No, I can see why you would compare it, though, yeah. because it's even some of the more subtle, <laughs> milder lamb beaks are kind of like that. You know, you don't get that quite that wild yeast, Britannomyces kind of flavor mm -hmm. out of it, but <clears throat> this definitely has that in oh, there. Oh, yeah. It just tastes like raw, fresh raspberry fruit, you know? Yeah, pretty like much. Crushed raspberries. Mm -hmm. It has that in there. And then the beer base for it is really solid. Yeah. Dude, this just thing. Just like malty and crisp yeah. and clean. It finishes kind of dry. Yeah. Front to finish, man. This is a good all-around beer. Mm-hmm. Raspberry up front. Yeah. And then right in the finish. Kind of lingers into a little bit of maltiness and then. And then it dries off. No, nope, then just kind of goes away after that. Mm-hmm. Little raspberry kind of. A thread just yeah. floating through there, but it's mostly in the front portion. Yeah. yeah. God, the nose is just totally deceptive because you don't really get I know. a ton of it out of it. Yeah, it's crazy. And this is going with red meats for sure. I I was gonna put it with seafoods, but it well, can go, with, for it sure, can go yeah. with that pork. Mm. I mean, raspberries will go with anything. <clears throat> it's a smoked yeah. seafood salad or a Cajun ribeye. Some sort of Northwest berry pie or something like. Um, yeah, if you could drink it with dessert, you yeah, know, like a nice five course meal. Mm -hmm. You're pairing mm -hmm. each course with a different beer. Yeah, you could you could put this in any of the courses. Oh yeah, it could be an appetizer. It could be with cheese. It could be with nuts. It could yeah. be with your salad. Vegetables, fruits. It could even be with a soup course if you had the right type of soup with it. You yeah. Know? You, you can do good something. Or, good with light soup, like a clam chowder or something like that. Or Well, I was thinking maybe you would have this with something kind of richer, like a smoked flank steak, black bean, or white bean chili or something, yeah. right? And then this would go with that real rich kind of... Basted chicken on the grill or something. Pretty good. Ooh, ooh. That's really good. It would be yeah. awesome with food. Oh, yeah. Just All ultimate. All sorts of food. Super good beer. You know what, though? I wouldn't want to drink a bunch of these. No. I think one's it's more a good, of a special kind yeah. of thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't a kind of hanging around session type of drink. Uh -uh. It's, you want it with something good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ultimate food beer. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. They're, they're doing the right thing. Yeah.